Hello and welcome to Infinity. Layer states were added in Affinity Photo version 2 and it sounds a bit like what the heck is that but actually it's really easy. So let's do a, a simple example. So here we've got this and let's sort of zoom in a bit to this and you can see that here's a little bit here, could do with a little bit of sharpening. So I'll just put things on here. Well first of all I'm going to put on some where is it? Denoise. Look into this and just turn this up until there you go. Noise mostly goes away. By the way, here I've got assistant preferences. I've got add filters as new layer, which is why it's going on top. So we'll just add a high pass filter and put that on yeah, linear light and turn the radius up to yeah, around about one ish, something like that. And then we'll go to the live filters again and put on unsharp mask. Turn the radius up again, sort of similarish, and then turn the factor up to you know, wherever I want. A bit, too, a bit more noise there, so I'll just go to the noise here and turn this up a bit more. Right. So now the question is, I want to look at is high pass better or unsharp better? Because I've got them both on the moment and it's, and it's clearly too much. So I could turn off the unmask, look at that, and then I turn it off that and turn on the other one. Wouldn't it be nice if I could just go show me unsharp and show me high pass? And that's what layer states does. So what I do is I go to window and states. And this brings up an extra panel here. Now then, I want one state here where I've got the unsharp turned off and the high pass turned on. So I put up that state. Then I go to the plus at the bottom here. And I'll give this a name. This is high pass. And what happens when I click this here, the little apply state, then this will set the state. So if I've got all of them turned on at the moment, if I click on the apply that, see it's turned off the unsharp. Now then, if I put another one on, in which I set it up beforehand, turn on the unsharp, turn off the high pass, and plus now, and I'll call it unsharp. Now then, if I want to put the unsharp on, like this, if I got them all on here, click on the play here, it's put the unsharp on and turned the high pass off. So I can switch between the two now. So I click on the high pass, that's what the high pass looks like. And then click on the unsharp, that's what that looks like. And it's a little better. What I've done there, it looks a bit better. I might go and try changing the variables on those. But what I've got is a quick way of switching between things by turning the visibility on and off so I can find out which is better. And you could do the same sort of thing, for example, with colour schemes, with should I use selective colour or HSL and so on. There's one more thing that you can do here. And before that, I'm just going to show you something you can do with this because it's going to fill up here, which is you go up here and you drag this up to the edge here. And that appears on the edge. Now, if I go to the hamburger here and say close and then I go to window and state and you can put a shortcut key on this if you want to see it comes back to where I left it so now I can go down to the bottom again here and say add new smart state and call this let's call this smart for now now then this lets me do something else Again, it's by selecting via opacity. And if I click on this here, now I can select by a number of different things and turn these on and off. So now if I say, say I make the noise reduction here, right click there and make that red. Then I've got a red tag on the right there. So I can go to layer tag and red and this will show me the noise reduction. So if I go from there, see that way is hide, this way is show. So if I click on the left hand one, 
it turns that off, makes that invisible. So watch that again. If I turn the right hand arrow, show, it turns it on. So I've got sort of a compound collection of things here that I can use to do this. So for example, if I wanted to turn off the background, then I can go to layer name and I can say background. And now if I go show here and hide, nothing's happening. It's because I've got this layer tag on here. So it's looking for red and background. So I turn that one off. And now I go show is showing, go backwards to hide, that turns that off. And now on again. So I've used this here. And in fact, what you can do is if I say back and a star, star means or any other letter, letters you like, and click the regular expression, I can do the same thing. So if you know how regular expressions work, and there's a whole set of stuff for that, but look it up. And also do lock status. This little button here, by the way, just reverses the effect. So now it says layer name is not this. So now if I say hide, it hides everything, makes turns it off except for the background. So this is a good way, for example, of saying just turn off the filters, look at what's there. And go the other way, show. It's showing all those layers. So it's showing those which are not background. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.